So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the same problem from before, but using the removal strategy. So what I would do with the removal strategy is I would always start on the right hand side of the number line because I am, I am starting with a lar the largest number and I'm removing from that number to get a smaller number. So that means I will put 275 on the right hand side of my number line. And I'm going to be removing 169 in parts from this 275. So I'm going to take away 100. So as you can see, I have a nice big jump of 100. Um, and that will give me 175. Now, I have six tens that I have to take away next. So that'll be 110. That gives me 165. Two tens. 155, three tens, 145, four tens, 135, five tens, 125, and six tens, 115. So I've taken away all of my tens. Now I have to subtract my ones. And to make it easier for myself, I'm going to make a jump of five because I see I have a five in the ones place. I have to take away nine ones, but I'm taking away five first. And that'll give me 110, 110 I should say. And then I have to take away four. Now, it's up to you. I could take them away one at a time or I can make a jump of four, whatever makes sense for you. I'm gonna do it once at, one at a time. So 110 minus one is 109, minus another one is 108, minus another one is 107, and minus the last one is 106, and that is our answer when using removal, 106, which is what we found when we solved the problem using base 10. So, um, you can also use removal using number sentences. So if you're not a fan of using a number line, that is completely fine. You can do the same thing using number sentences. So I will start with 275 and I will remove 169 in parts. So we'll start off by removing 100 and that will give me 175. Then I will remove this, uh, the 60 and I'm actually, instead of making jumps of 10, you can even just take away a whole 60 if that's where you are um, in your journey. Or you can take away one 10 at a time. So 175 minus 60 is 115. And then again, I'm gonna take that 115 and bring it down. And I'm going to subtract five ones from it and get to 110. And then I'm gonna take that 110 and subtract the rest of nine, which is four ones, and that'll give me 106. And that is my answer. So you're gonna do the next problem that follows this using the removal strategy. You can choose whether to do it on a number line or using number sentences. Remember, if you use number sentences, you could have separated the tens if that was easier for you and your ones. Good luck with this. Have fun.